So I am in the process of designing a new website for myself, markjosemancy.com, but I wanna kind of do this little showcase and archive the previous version of the website, talk a little bit about it, and my main goal here is to explain to you guys kind of how I built some things, really more so from the marketing side, like some ideas that you could implement either in your own personal website, an agency website, a site for a client. There's just a lot of things that I experimented with us, this on this on this last iteration of the website. Um, I just kind of, like I said, want to archive it. I want to try to provide some value to you because some of these things are not going to make it to the new site just because of the nature of the way that I am marketing myself now as opposed to a very generic thing. And maybe some of these things will come back in the future. But um, yeah, let's just jump in and kind of talk about them here. So uh, the homepage uh, on this uh, iteration of the website was just big. Kind of had like learn, try, share at one point. This is a YouTube video that I made about when I was trying to do multiple different business ideas at a time, all in different industries. It was a mess, but you could go back and kind of take a look at that if you wanted to. But but yeah, I would not recommend. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into styling of this website or des or actual like design because that was not like a huge forethought uh, at the point when I probably built this like two or three-ish years ago. What I really wanna talk about is again, like all the different ideas that you could do and just don't limit yourself and some of the ideas are similar but we'll just talk about them here so again the idea was this is a personal brand website to establish my authority and this at this point wasn't in a given space just kind of like in entrepreneurship and and marketing and things like that so that is the lens that we're looking at so i took some of these ideas like you know stay informed like kind of creating a little mailing list there a little bit about me we'll talk about all these pages in specifics but you know i had some like free course courses that people could do uh and then different consulting options and resources and all that and then obviously linking out to other social media so people could see the content that i'm putting out on those platforms and then this was an actual interesting thing that i would do probably differently now uh, and I will be doing differently on the next iteration, but these were like an automatic feed of uh, YouTube videos from a plugin. I think it was, I'm not sure what it was, uh, YouTube embed, but um, but that's a really cool idea depending on what your situation is. You can get stuff to automatically do that through the YouTube API. Then just a little footer down here. So um, yeah, we'll just go completely through this kind of page by page and kind of have everything all pulled up here. So, and I had like about us, you know, about, about MJS, what, uh, what I do, these are for you, like things like that. So again, I was, the one thing I will talk about though is the messaging of this website was trying to make it more like, this is me. Like I'm kind of talking to you, um, in realist, if you were actually trying to do that, this should probably be like about me and like what I do. But like, it, it, I really think that a, a personal brand website, especially should be like kind of first person active voice like i you know what i mean unless you're at a certain level and it's like other people are kind of like talking on your behalf i don't know i, I wouldn't do that that's not how i'm doing the next one so so yeah so i had a ball hockey page i play i play ball hockey and i just was experimenting with this because this is an up and coming sport there's like a whole national league now and i was thinking like you know hey this is a cool thing to kind of i didn't really care for this on my website necessarily it was kind of like a a, a test case because there's a lot of really good players i am not a really good player there are a lot of really good players that are having these types of things right and i think this is even as a quick uh, take this example that i'm about to tell you and use this in another in another scenario if you don't play ball hockey but my point is even in the like the national hockey league for instance there's a, not enough people that are utilizing their brand and their image and their likeness to their advantage. Like they'll get deals or whatever, you know, and, and, and put this in any sport you could even do. They're not utilizing it enough. So for instance, like if you could, if you're making content about any sort of, you know, thing that you're doing, whether it's a sport or anything else, affiliate marketing should always be a part of your strategy. I don't care how like, deep it is or how like how much you were you shouldn't rely 100% on it but it should always be a percentage of your thing because everybody always wants more business and you are going to buy stuff if you are going to buy stuff other people that are like you that you're talking to are probably also going to buy those things so if you're making content for them or if you're talking or you're making directly uh talking to somebody they're gonna eventually ask hey in this case, what kind of helmet do you use for hockey? Again, I'm not saying this was a good example, but I'm saying that if you're building websites, hey, what's your stack like? What page builder do you use? 
that will 100% be in effect on the new launch that we're about to have for the for the new website here. But on this old website, this was the case. So like I had this ball hockey thing in here because it was a, an example that I was trying to show other people because they could absolutely take advantage of this. Even even in a small community like this is, uh, you know, the ball hockey one, for instance, there are people that would, I guarantee, look up to the really good players in the sport and be like, hey, what stick do you use? What shoes do you wear? Like whatever. And I did that same thing just for the stuff that I use. Um, just to kind of show that as an example. And I actually made a video of it. I don't know if it's still on, the, on uh, my YouTube channel or not, but like branding, like personal branding for ball hockey as an example. Don't know if anybody's gonna care about that or if anybody ever did that. Uh, I think it's spinning up a little bit. But again, that's just one specific scenario. Take that and definitely implement some uh, affiliate marketing into your, and we could talk about how to actually develop something like this, but it doesn't need to be complex. If you want to do it super basically, literally just like the name of whatever it is, this part is important. Like the part where this part makes it more uh, like um, makes people more interested in actually doing it. Like if you give your opinion on why you like, you know, whatever the stick or whatever, uh, whatever the product is, and then put the affiliate link right there so they can go click on it. And if they buy, and if it's on Amazon, they give you like, they, they, you don't even have to buy the exact same thing. Uh, so look into affiliate programs, whether it's Amazon, whether it's any other product that you use, really, really, really highly leverage affiliate marketing as you start to build an audience. Um, facts about me, again, this was never really designed or anything like that, but I had something like this. If you have a personal thing or if you have an agency, I think like being super transparent and talking about like either your mission or like things about you, I think is super uh, important and really just helps people um, really it resonate with, with your brand or your mission or whatever better. So I'm just being su super transparent. Uh, my influences. So this is actually a really interesting one. I'd like to do something similar moving forward, but my influences in different like aspects of my life over the past like five or so years or whatever. So like crypto, there's a lot of good YouTubers and stuff like that. And like, look, look at, look at everything that's going on here. So like there's a category, uh, and then there's individuals in those categories. And then, I also described what they've done for me briefly, and then I also linked out to their their things. So there's a lot of there's a lot going on here, and um, you know that was crypto category, entrepreneurship, you know, podcasting. Again, this wasn't even fully finished, but my point is like all these people have had an effect on me, and I wanted to kind of like showcase the type of person that I am based off of the people that I have been influenced by. And then also kind of give them, you could even say like super basically, even give them like a backlink to their website in a way from my website. You know, like seriously, like that's how it works. Like if you put Dave Ramsey's, as an example, Dave Ramsey's website link on your website, you gave him another backlink. So it's not gonna matter at all uh, for, you know, these people because they're all like famous and probably have a huge following. But my point is like, there's just a lot, there's a lot that kind of goes into that. And you can think of just to give your users, the people that come to your website, they know more about you, give them like some other things to, to do. Uh, I will say a caveat to this is maybe you don't want to put this on here because you don't want to tell people like to go search elsewhere. Cause like, I mean, you know, they can navigate kind of away from your, uh, website, but ultimately, you know, I think it's, I think it's definitely something, uh, that's on a personal brand website. Like you, you always see like book recommendations, which we'll cover and just other influences. And I just think that's kind of like really interesting. So so there's that. And then the MGS Daily Recap, I was doing live streams every night for uh, for uh, like, I don't know, a year or something like that. I want to get back into the live, but we'll do it in a different way. So I made a video about my streaming software. So if anybody was like interested in this, and again, I want to I talk about this for a second. These pages are not amazing, okay? They don't have a ton of content. They're not going to like rank on, on, on Google or anything. What I see you know, again, this uh, kind of like lackadaisical structure and everything. This was kind of a way, the, the the very infancy of a way of like creating like landing pages for the things that I was doing. I was obviously doing a ton of different stuff, not just in this, you know, my personal brand, but also in other business stuff that I was just experimenting with and playing around, seeing what stuck and everything. And this was like, you could, I could send somebody here and I could say, it just gives them the basic information and it's a landing page. So if they wanted to check out streaming, they could do that. If they wanted to go to my, um, you know, cer certain platforms that I'd be streaming on and subscribe and get notified, they could do that. Just giving people the opportunity in one place, 
because you're going to get these questions all the time. Like that's the thing is if you get a question even like two times, the same question two times, you have to make a piece of content on it or a, or a website page or something so you're not answering that all the time. And instead of like, you can condense like a 10 minute answer into a two second, oh, I've already answered that for many pe people. Check out this blog post or check out this web page or check out this video. That's the concept that I always think of there. This was the most ambitious thing <laughs> that I had done and I did it in such a bad way development wise because I was like using, this was before my current stack of Jet Engine and everything. So, but this is literally, I was in the con I was in the position of uh, renovating our house and everything like that. And this is literally like every single item that I own. And I love this concept. Like I love the the idea of what's going on here because you could be you could use this for so many different things, like um, like client wise and just different website wise. It's kind of a little ridiculous that I made all these products about the things that we own in our house and like kind of like explaining why kind of we like them and everything like that. But again, every single one of these, these aren't on here for no reason. The idea would be that, you know, hey, somebody sees something in the video when I was like doing the renovations, like, oh, what is, you know, what's your setup look like or whatever. Like this is a really good one, like the desk setup. So somebody could say like, hey, what's your desk setup? And I'll probably do something like this on the new one. So this is a good example. What's your desk setup look like? Or what camera are you using? And you just send them to this. There was actually a website called kit.co. I completely stole this concept right from them where you have all of these different items and you're able to just drop them in the thing. And so I downloaded, you know, the picture, I put in the title and everything and I put in the affiliate links and like this is everything that I use. And you would not believe, like I've done this all the time. It's like I watch somebody, I'm like, ooh, what camera are they using or what, what light are they using or what software are they using? It's just, I guarantee you've done it before as well. So this is super powerful if you're trying to create like a personal brand or, or, or type of, um, or type of any sort of brand leverage again that affiliate marketing give them more information even if it's not specific to what you're like kind of doing this is super tangential especially if you are you know um like i when i was doing the home renovation stuff like i wasn't a, i was just kind of doing it you know like an ad hoc in a way like i wasn't um i wasn't a home renovation channel i was just doing it but like in the garage like category i was like putting the tools that i was using and stuff so i'm not saying we made a lot of money from this but if you do it better than i did it this concept of marketing is super impactful. And then like something like this is would be absolutely incredible that I've never used for a client yet, but something like a either a car manufacturer website or something like or like a like something where anything where you could put a picture and there's different features that you could do like they have these little hotspots in Elementor and a bunch of other builders where you can uh, you know, set these up and it's like really visual now because it's like, oh, wow, what is that? And they want to click on it. So that's that's super impactful that I just never, you know, fully, uh, fully built out, but I was playing around with there. So again, just affiliate marketing, visual, uh, I, I don't know, explanation and design of kind of what you're talking about. It's just awesome. And then my story. So I made this, I, made, I basically made a uh, Wikipedia knockoff page here for myself because I was like, yeah, you know, this is kind of cool. Um, I, I, I really want to have my own Wikipedia page one day. So I just made a knockoff one of it. And, uh, and yeah, so I mean, like I just, again, this type of thing, I'll, I'll give you a quick, a quick difference is this type of design or this type of methodology Take stuff online, and I'm gonna start doing this a lot more on the other channel. Take stuff online that you admire or you think is really good and just rebuild it. Like if you wanna be a web developer, uh, like an agency owner and, like, and, and put out content like that, just rebuild the thing. So it's like, hey, this is how you could build something like this and just to demonstrate the, your knowledge and your authority. And that's what I did with this. So it's literally just like, again, it looks similar to Wikipedia, at least when it, when I don't know if Wikipedia's changed at all, but uh, there's that, so that's awesome. My philosophies, again, you could probably say like, um, you know, depending on, depending on, uh, what you want your, uh, your, again, your brand to kind of symbolize or whatever, this kind of goes back to the same thing as the mission. So, um, you know, it just, I don't know, just depends on, on what you want to do there. But I think again, transparency and kind of explaining to your audience what you're about, what you like and things like that, um, or what you're, what you're trying to, give off through your brand, I think is important. So again, same type of thing, huge thing. I made a video about this. Um, if I have it listed here, I'll, 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 I'll put a card or something, but a press kit for your brand. And this is just so you, 
so people know exactly the colors that you're using, they know exactly where to get your logo, and if you can make this page, this is gonna be a big goal for me just for like everything that I ever do, if you can make this page show up when somebody Googles like insert your brand here, logo, huge. Just because with all the things that I'm doing, trying to gather like all the different partner logos and things like that for the new website, there is, you wanna control, if you can, as much as you can, the way people show your brand. So a lot of bigger brands will have brand guidelines. I'm not saying if you go that crazy, if you're just, you know, just a small, you know, startup type thing. But my point is that just giving somebody a very easy place, place to download your logo at the very bare minimum, like it's, just something like this. And you know, if you're a personal brand, maybe give some like, uh, you know, extra information or whatever. But yeah, I mean, that's just that, that, I don't know, it makes you look really good in my opinion, because like, it's like you care about what people, you care about people's time and energy so they don't have to waste time looking for stuff or asking you for it. And they also, and you also care about like your image and your likeness. I think it's, I think it's kind of good, whether it's a brand or a personal brand. Uh, so what I do Again, this is kind of uh, outdated at this point, obsolete, but like this was a video explaining like everything I wanted to do. And I had like, I have a, a holding company and then I have my personal brand. I had uh, Find a Tech and those are still intact, but also had like Fuel by Progress, AIM and the PM, uh, Zenith Properties Group. We, I could talk at nauseum about this. I won't go into it right now. If you want to hear more about my my career so far, my entrepreneurial journey, I'll, I can possibly make some content that's affiliated with that. But um, Fuel by Progress and AIM and the PM were going to be like podcast media things, but also like Fuel by Progress was going to be like a clothing brand. We may get back to that because I love that, that I love both of those ideas and concepts still, but like it just doesn't make any sense because it's too hard to do many things at once. So definitely don't do that. I would recommend highly not not doing many, many things at once. Uh, just focus and get there. Uh, and then you can do more things as you as you spin up and grow like the first thing. So that's what I've learned. And then a blog, never really got super high off the ground here because I hate writing stuff. I'd rather just talk into a camera and then take the transcript and like put that into, you know, the text content if possible or clean it up a little bit. But this is, um, this is just like the, the start of it. It was super, you know, basic and simple. I don't even know if I really designed too much there, but it's good to have, it's, you have to have text content because you want Google to crawl your, your website, you have to have it. So even if these are all videos, which in the new site they will be, they need to have text component to them uh, because we're not at the point yet entirely where your video content can rank, can rank like text can. Uh, courses, uh, I had this course thing. I, I don't know if I had LearnDash or I had a free version or I, I don't even know. I tried to do some LearnDash content here. I have since been like just way further, uh, made myself way further, um, uh, knowledgeable of that, but these were like really strong things that I still kind of want to, I still want to have in my back pocket, but aren't specific to, you know what I'm talking about? Like the definitive guide to starting a podcast. When I want to do something, I just figure it out. And then I have like an internal, uh, way of thinking about like, okay, well I did all this stuff. I gathered all this information and it's like, just almost automatically I create like a step-by-step -step process for if I wanted to do it again, or if I had to tell somebody how to do it. So that's a lot of what I did here. Like a right way to start a business, just like going through and making sure you have every, all your T's crossed and your I's dotted. Um, personal finance was a big thing of mine at one point, and then I never got to these ones, but I'll probably have something. This will kind of come through with a lot of the stuff that I'm doing because I want to talk about personal branding in relation to like your your field or whatever because I'm really passionate about that. And then marketing essentials for real estate agents. I'm going to absolutely talk a hell of a lot about real estate because it is just a crazy industry, and I have uh, experience in it, and I, I don't like what people do in it. It's, it's, uh, the, I think a lot of people have the marketing strategy backwards, but that's video for a different time. Resources. If you are watching this video and you are looking forward to the next website, it might, might already be out. Look for markjosemancy.com. Go check it out. The resources are going to be off the chain over there. And I'm, I'm actually retooling a little bit. So resources here were just like things that I use, right? So whether it was Calendly or Audacity or whatever, like things that I use and go check them out. If they're paid, you know, obviously it might be an affiliate link. If there are a lot of them are free though, and I'll have it all sorted out way better than this on the new one. But this was a thing where I was like, I have a lot of things that I use. I know a lot of other people can benefit from these tools that I use. So let's tell the people about it. So that's what I did. Um, and in the new one, the new website, they're going to be called tools uh, instead of resources and resources are going to be different. They're going to be things that I create rather than things that I'm telling you to potentially go use that I'm recommending 
or have used in the past. And then, yeah, so there's like, you know, all sorts of different categories here. Probably won't like include like super heavy. Definitely not going to include crypto. I'm out of that space pretty much entirely at this point. But my point is like the concept are the same. So just trying to express, trying to provide value of things that I create, ideas that I have, but also things that I use. Uh, And I'll, like I said, you'll see that in the next one. Good reads. So like books that I've read or want to read or what have you. Um, this is going to be on the next one as well. It's going to look way better than this. I already have that designed, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a big reader. I literally, anything that I read is going to be through audible or, or like, you know, uh, recorded on YouTube or whatever. Uh, I'm probably not going to actually physically have any of these copies of, of these books for the most part, but there are a lot of good things that you can, that you can take from there. Because if you think about it real quick, there's a ton more value that has been written just throughout history rather than recorded so far because just the time disparity of writing versus the amount of time writing has been around since uh versus time video and everything has been around so that's something you don't think about and while you can get a lot of stuff off youtube and hearing people talk it's going up exponentially uh you know you still should probably read or listen at least to the things that have been written Meaningful movies. This is another one that like is probably not going to make it, but honestly, this is I, I really love this this uh, concept here because it, it is it's probably if it'll be on the website, it'll be like deeply buried and won't be like a big thing. But like I really think I'm a little I'm definitely a little soft in certain ways, and like I'm I'm trying to be mindful of just life in general because like we get to- like we get like so far gone with all like our career stuff or, or business or whatever. There are certain movies that have I've watched, and I'm just like. This movie is something that I need to watch when I'm when I start to forget how like precious life is or how precious time is. And you know, some of them are funnier than others, or the, you know, the comedies versus you know dramas or something like that. But they're all just like really good movies for mostly that reason or like a slight business reason, like the founder or whatever. But I just I don't know. All these movies have had like an impact on me. I would say like I would watch them again because of the feeling that they made me feel about just, I don't know, being a human, having finite time, and just like, I don't know. So it was really interesting. Uh, So yeah, I didn't really go too deep into the actual thing of this at the time, that page and everything at the time, but we'll see what happens moving forward. And then wallpapers. Um, I don't, nobody, I don't think anybody cares about this, but I loved this concept. Uh, I stole this from Gary Vee. He like had Gary Vee like motivational type wallpapers or whatever. And I stole this concept directly from them. So I got like Canva uh, backdrops, just like random stock things or whatever. And I put some sayings in there and uh, yeah. So like different, you know, aspect ratios, mobile and everything like that. And uh, I think that I may be bringing some of that back, but I don't know. It's not really like super, super valuable, but I just thought it was a great idea. But again, if you have a brand and you want, and you, and like people resonate with your brand or whatever, that's another fantastic idea. So this again was a hodgepodge of just all these different ideas that I had and, uh, and just threw onto here. And then, uh, just a, you know, simple, super, uh, super simple contact form about like hiring me or talking or whatever like that. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I am super excited to show you guys the next iteration of that. That was just a showcase really all, honestly, if nobody watches that, that's even a showcase for me just to remember kind of like what I had there, because the thing is this site was built bef- like, I would say, you know, my, if I'm on version like three of my stack, this was built on version like 1.5 or two. So everything's changed. This was with, uh, you know, ACF and custom post type UI, I think, and a lot of tools that I just didn't have access to because I hadn't learned about them, hadn't bought them yet. A lot more of that coming. I'm going to, when I release this next website, I'm going to give you a full deep dive on everything, how I built it and all that, because, uh, I think that hopefully you guys will, will benefit from it and find some value there. But, um, yeah, that's the old site. Kiss it goodbye. Cause it's going to go, I don't know what to do with it either in the trash or just, de- just put a backup, just download a backup and just like delete it off the server. But, uh, yeah, so that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you had any questions about any of that or thought you had any good ideas, or if you want to know how to implement any of that stuff specifically, how I would do it now, definitely ask me. Cause I would be happy to share. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you got something out of this. I appreciate it. Thank you so much as always for watching. And I will talk to you in the next one.